My pitch is called Forget Me Not. I'd firstly like to thank the community and the sponsors and all the volunteers for this week because there's so many and they do so much. My mother for putting me up <laughs> and my husband for helping me and my family for their encouragement. The closure of the once thriving Murray Goulburn factory has devastated the entire community of Rochester. We will never forget the once vibrant factory and dairy industry that has been washed of colour as though shot by assassins and left to die. Almost the entire picture is painted in sepia-like colours, symbolising that with the closure of Murray Golden, the colour has been washed out of the town. The figures to the right here, they represent the executives and the financial in institution walking away from the factory, unscathed after it slid into receivership through poor management, um, almost resembling assassins walking off confidently after a kill. The cast shadow of the shark is another reference to the ferociousness of the attack and the steely resolve of the establishment that shut the lifeblood of the Rochester district down. The factory wall is dominant in the painting, symbolising the vast size of the now defunct factory and the fact the entire town has been put up against the wall with financial burden and insecurity, including the workers and the farmers and the general community. The factory worker portrayed here is hunched over with his head in his hand, faced with unemployment and uncertainty against the wall. The bucket of milk, signifying milk production, is in the centre of the picture, just like the factory is in the centre of the town. I put on a pedestal uh, or a stool. The dairy industry was the pride of the farmers and the town for decades. The bucket handle in the upward position, so it's frowning. That's very symbolic. Yeah. Milk, like blood, is pouring out of a fresh um, bullet wound and going down the drain. The bullet holes have been intentionally placed halfway up or down the bucket, depending on whether you think the bucket's half empty or half full, um, signifying maybe there is still some hope for the town and the farmers in the district. There is a reflection on here of a lone farmer and his faithful dog with his head down as though feeling powerless and bewildered with the attempted murder of his once prized way of life. The forget-me-not flowers, and I'm hoping people don't forget the farmers and the town, are the only colour in the picture and they're growing out of the concrete. Thanks very much.